Hey everybody, today I'm going to go over mechanical contactors and switches um, and replacing your uh, old school disconnects with this setup. So if you've got a uh, disconnect on the back of the car like this, um, what you have to do is run your battery cable in and then your battery cable out. Works perfectly fine, nothing wrong with these, if your battery is in the trunk. Um, if your battery is not in the trunk, you have to run you know, power cable back and forth. Or if you've got a car that you want to retrofit a contactor and put a battery in the cab, um, you can still use this and it would just replace this switch, okay? So <clears throat> what we have here, and, and again, these will be on our website individually. Right now they're on our website with batteries. But what this is is a um, continuous duty contactor with an economizer built into it. So it draws um, about a quarter I think it's I think it's like 200 milliamp or something like that um, when it's engaged uh, so it's very low amp draw just to turn this on and off right um, and it can be interrupted with power and ground then we have two switches that we use this switch we typically mount inside the car looks like this right it's a big e-stop right turn it on and off um, and then we have this push pull that we put on the back of the car Typically, we put these on the back bumper, it's got a little knob. So, we're gonna go to uh, my little ghetto demonstration on how to make this work. So, this is our contactor. What we have here is this blue jumper, um, is alligator clip, is simulating having power to this um, contactor, okay? So this is our battery cable coming from the contactor. And then um, the ground is just going to this light bulb over here, which we're going to turn you to show you how it turns on and off. So what we're doing here is we've got ground from the battery going to this kill switch, and uh, and that's going to our contactor here for the for the ground side. Then we have power coming from the hot side of the contactor going to this kill switch, and then going to the power side of this uh, contactor. So. The way this works is this kill switch, which would be in the car, um, if this is this is off, okay, this one has to be on, and notice the light bulb has not turned on. The kill switch on the back bumper is also off. Turn it on, and the contactor energizes, turns on the little light bulb, which is the load side of this contactor. So they both have to be on. So if you kill this one on the back bumper, it kills the contactor. If this one on the back bumper is on, but you uh, you kill the car, the one inside the car, it also turns off the light. So this is nice because it gives you the ability to <clears throat> turn on and off this contactor from inside the car. You can have this mounted overhead um, on a switch panel. You can mount it next to the shifter. Like in my personal car, this is mounted on the center console. If there's a problem, you just slap it and it kills the battery. Um, if you are using an alternator, you can run two of these and still use the same switches and just wire them in uh, series, right? So again, to show you, you turn the one on inside the car, the light bulb is on, as in the rest of the car is on, hit the one on the back bumper, kills it. So with this setup, you can mount the battery up front. These are not batteries that we typically use, um, but it doesn't matter, whatever battery it is, you mount the battery up front, you can mount the contactor right next to it, and then you can have a switch, whichever you prefer, whether it be this one on the back bumper, um, and this one inside, or vice versa, or two of these, or two of these, doesn't really matter what switches you use. I like these because these are a good tactile push-pull, and, um, and these are a really rock-solid uh, e-stop, right? So like it's a hard click to turn them in and out. So these are a good, big mushroom to slap um, and uh, and turn off. And these are nice little low profile uh, switches that can go on the back bumper. Uh, and actually Tim McAmos makes a screw on little Tim McAmos logoed push button for here. So if you don't like the little round chrome deal, you can have a little triangle from Tim McAmos. No, we don't sell the little Tim McAmos uh, button covers, but this is how it works. Put them in the car, they're light, these things weigh. You know, roughly a pound um, 
and uh, and you shorten up all your circuits, right? So you can shorten up your battery leads dramatically, especially if you're putting this in the car. Uh, if you're putting this in the car and you're putting the um, the battery inside the car, you pull a lot of weight out of a car by doing this. So, um, yeah, that's all we got. Check them out on our website. Um, they'll also come with a, uh, you know, with if you have any questions, you know, you can contact us and we can walk you through on how to hook them up. So, see you.